Hello everybody, Angel Arts here, and I just wanted to give you guys an update on my 1,000 subscribers YouTube scavenger hunt. For those of you who are not aware, uh, I wanted to do something very unique and different, and hopefully really fun, um, to celebrate my 1,000 subscribers. I'll put a link at the bottom uh, that links to the video where I actually explain how the whole uh, scavenger hunt works. I greatly encourage you to give it a try if you haven't yet, because I really hope that it's, again, it's something that you probably have never seen in YouTube before. Remember that the grand prize is a Steam video game gifted from me uh, up to a value of $50. And there are, will at least be two people uh, who will win that grand prize. Um, one being the person who successfully completes the final clue, and the other one uh, is a drawing. So anyone who reaches the end will be put into a drawing uh, specifically to win the exact same prize. Um, so even if somebody does win by completing the last clue first, there's still a chance for you to still win. Uh, there's still a reason for you to continue playing, uh, even if somebody else has won. That being said, uh, several of you actually have gotten to the end. In fact, a bunch of you got to the end on the first day, which is uh, amazing. Uh, congratulations to every one of you who were able to do that. But believe it or not, um, nobody had completed the final clue perfectly, okay? You have to complete the final clue perfectly in order to automatically win the grand prize. And if you haven't completed it perfectly, then hopefully uh, nobody will beat your score. Um, because whenever the deadline completes, and the deadline is at the end of September, um, by the end of September, if nobody has completed the last clue perfectly, then the person who will win is the one who was able to complete the last clue the most perfectly. So for those of you who decided, I don't know if I really want to do the scavenger hunt because somebody's probably already won by now, that's actually not true. Nobody has won yet. So you still have a chance, if you haven't started yet, you still have a chance of winning uh, if you try now. In order to help you guys a little bit, I am going to start periodically sending out videos that gives hints on how to uh, complete the various clues leading all the way up to the end. Um, so hopefully, uh, if there are specific clues that you get stuck with, uh, these will help you a lot and give you a chance to reach the end, because I'm definitely um, very anxious to find out if anyone will be able to com get to the final, not only get to the final clue, but complete it perfectly. So let's start with the hint for clue number one. Now, really all this is, is for you to watch the video, the same video where I introduce the game, until you find me talking about clue number one. Once you find that spot, you pretty much, I pretty much spell out what you're supposed to do. There's a very specific there's very specific directions, and they're not that difficult. Very specific direction into completing clue number one, and you just have to do it. Just do it. You know, there's no, tr there's no trick question to it. You just do it, and boom. Once you do it, you'll get to clue number two. Now, clue number two. Here's when things do start to get a little tricky. Um, if you notice, after I talk about clue number one. I say the words, these first few clues are all about following directions and making sure that you have all of them before you proceed. I say that for a reason, because if you continue to watch my 1000 subscribers shout out video, within a few minutes after I first talked about clue number one, I actually bring up something specific to clue number two. 
and those directions tell you specifically what to do for clue number two. So if all you did was immediately uh, follow the directions for clue number one and take you over to clue number two, you will miss what you're supposed to do for clue number two. So that's the trick for that. And then there's clue number three. You get to clue number three and once again you start seeing colored boxes popping up all over the place. So which colored box are you supposed to click on? Well if you notice, when you first get to clue number three, you will notice that the video starts in the middle. So in order for you to know what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to go back to the beginning of the video for clue number three. And if you do that, I will give specific instructions on what you're supposed to do with the colored boxes that, pop, that appear in the second half of the clue number three's video. So with that, you should have absolutely no problem getting to clue number four, or even beyond. Good luck, everybody, and until next time, love yourselves, and love each other.